Hi guys, so welcome back here at the Easy Engineering Tutorial. So this time, uh, we're going to discuss combined stress. So, meron tayo ditong example and we're going to solve this one. Eh? So, bali yung issue dito is ano daw yung mga stresses acting dito sa point A of the given beam. No? So, yung beam natin is cantilever beam loaded with 100 kN at the tip ng beam inclined at 30 degrees with respect to the vertical axis. So, yung cross-section nung beam natin is also given. So, meron siyang width na 500 and then meron siyang total depth na 200. And then, uh, since a rectangular beam to, symmetrical, so yun yung neutral axis niya is located at half ng 200. So, we have 100 mm na uh, location nung neutral axis, no? From the top fiber or from the bottom fiber. So, yung point A is located 50mm from the neutral axis. So, yung issue is ano yung mga stresses involved dito sa point A. Okay, so to solve this one, So, convert lang natin yung uh, yung load dito into its component. So, bali dito meron siyang ganyan. This is 100 sine 30 and then yung vertical component ng load natin is equal to 100 cosine 30. So, yung 100 sine 30 is 50. While yung 100 cosine 30 is 86.6 kilonewton. Okay? Okay, so ngayon, yung concern lang naman natin dito is itong point A. So, bali, kunan lang natin ng shear and yung shear tsaka moment yun dito. Okay, so bali, yung shear diagram nito is at ease na. So, like ganyan lang. So, line lang, no? this is 86.6 kN. So, valid it is also 86.6 na para maging 0. So, dito sa point A, ito yung concern natin. No? So, yung shear dito sa point A is also 86.6 kN. Ang gawa natin to ng Uh, moment diagram so area lang na so parang magiging ganito yan ok ayan so bali dito is meron tayong uh, 86.6 kN multiplied by so alam natin yung distance dito is Uh, 500 mm or this is equivalent to 0.5 meters na so yun yung given so we have 0.5 meters so yung value na is 86.6 so we have 43.3 kilonewton meter so yan yung moment dito sa point A. So, yan yung moment dito sa point A. So, okay na tayo, no? So, meron na tayong 
shear at A, which is 86.6, and we have also moment at A, which is 43.3 kN meter. So, yung gagawin natin ngayon is uh, gagawa na tayo ng mga stress diagram. So, dito sa stress diagram natin, Pag-check ko lang yan dito. So, ito yung neutral axis. Prepared ko muna guys. And then, yung ito. So, ganito tayo dyan, ha? So, yung forces na nag-act sa dito sa beam natin okay, so bali ito yun ha so cut ko lang ito so bali dito is meron syang tensile force na nag act dito so meron syang tensile force na 50 kilonewton at the same time meron din siyang uh, moment no? na nag-act ok so which is a negative moment diba? ito ay below x so, ito yung x axis natin below x so it is a negative moment So, yung moment dito is 43.3 kN meter. So, gawan muna natin yung tensile force. So, first is the tensile. Stress na. So, yung consider natin dito na tension is itong 50 kN. So, bali, yan. So, kung dito ka, kung dito ka, this is positive. Kung dito ka, this is negative. Meaning, tension, compression. So, yung tension natin dito is dito na. So, this is in tension. So, yung value ng stress in tension is tensile force over area subject in tension. Okay? So, bali dyan, that is equivalent to tensile force which is 50 times 1,000 para newton all over yung cross-sectional area which is 50 times 200. So, we have now the tensile force which is 50 times 1,000 over 50. So, meron tayong 5 megapascal. So, ito pala is 5 megapascal positive. And, ganun din dito. This is positive 5 megapascal. So, intention siya. Okay, so next is itong bending stress. So, 
So dito sa bending stress, uh, meron tayong negative na moment now which is 43.3 kN meter. So bali, kung titignan mo yan, di ba, by common sense, uh, meron tayong din itong beam. No? So kung meron tayong force acting downward, di ba, so yung tendency, example, yung beam natin. Ha? So, kung meron tayong force dito which is acting downward, so yung, yung beam natin is itin yung i-ganito. E, no? Okay? So, yung i-ganyan e, yung uh, beam natin. So, meaning, this is subject to uh, negative moment. So, bali yung itsura ng Uh, deflected shape ng beam natin is parang ganito, no? parang uh, surface. So, meaning uh, dito sa top is uh, gusto nyo i-spread out yung mga fiber dito. So, this is subject to tension. Well, dito is gusto nyo i-compress. So, that's why this one is subject to uh, compression. Okay? So, bali ngayon, kung gagawa tayo dito ng stress diagram, so dito sa top, this is positive. Okay? Positive uh, M, C over I. Well, dito sa baba, we have negative na. Ito negative. So, top is positive. So, negative M, C over I. So, dito sa neutral axis, ito yung neutral axis na yan neutral axis. So, laging zero yan ang bending stress. So, ito, one, uh, ito is positive. Ito is negative. So, connect lang natin yung dalawa. So, yan yung nagiging stress diagram. So, this one is in tension. While well, this one is in compression. Okay? So, at least klaro. So, ngayon, masolve na natin yung bending moment dito na MC over I. So, given yung uh, bending moment natin na uh, 43.3 So, this is times 10 to the power of 6. So, naka, ano to? Naka Newton mm na? Multiplied by C. Yung C natin is ito yun. Yung location ng neutral axis. So, value this is 100 mm. So, 100 mm all over yung I natin which is 50 times 200 200 cubed divided by 12 So, yan na yung building stress which is equal to 43.3 times 10 to the power 6 over 50 times 200 you divided by so we have uh, 129.9 kilo newton ano na, mega pascal okay so yan yung C so dito is meron tayong 129.9 positive while dito is meron tayong negative 129.9 so is in mega pascal in mega pascal yung concern natin is dito sa point A no? ito yung point A natin eh. diba? andito yung point A natin so if you want to compute for uh, bending bending dito sa point A. So, yung C na gagamitin natin is yung ito, no? Ito yung C nung A, no? Which is given. 50. Diba? At point A. Diba yan yan? 50. So, kung i-compute natin yan at point A, specific at point A, so this will be 43.3 times 
10 to the power of 6 multiplied by 50 all over you 50 times 200 cube divided by 12 so at point A so yung value dito is palitan ko lang to na 50 so meron na tayong uh, 64.95 ano uh, mega pascal kasi stress so ito pala is 64.95 mega pascal so okay na tayo dyan ha okay na tayo dyan <clears throat> or you could use or you could use uh, ratio and proportion no? dito sa triangle kasi alam natin diba? alam natin na ito is 129.9 eh, ito linear to eh and then ito yung gusto natin kunin yung uh, FP nung point A pero alam, alam natin yung mga dimension dito eh. dito yung neutral axis diba? so this one is uh, 50 and then this one is 100 to the ratio and proportion yan. so by ratio and proportion we have 129.9 all over 100 is equal nung FP nung point A all over 50 so kung titignan mo yung FB nung point A is also 64.95 megapascal so either way Kahit saan sa dalawa, pwede yan. Okay. Sige. So ngayon, ang pwede na natin i-combine ito, no? Para makita natin yung uh, maximum tensile stress. Okay. So pwede na natin i-combine ito. So we have now the combined stress. So... Bale, yung gagawin lang natin is i-add lang natin itong tensile stress tsaka bending stress. No? Kasi ito lahat is we have top and bottom. Okay? So, yung shear stress, uh, uh, ibang usapan yun. No? Ibang usapan yun. Okay? Pero itong tensile tsaka bending, kasi yung bending is meron siyang tension compression. No? So, dapat magkasama yung dalawa. Pero yung shear stress, Ibang usapan yan, ha? Okay. So, sa combined stress, gagawin lang natin dito is masold natin yung sa top and sa bottom ng mga stresses. So, sa combined stress, So, to solve for top, so, add lang natin ito. No? So, dito sa top, meron tayong uh, positive 5 megapascal. And then, dito meron tayong uh, positive 129.9. No? So, bali, we have positive 5 plus 129.9. So, yung sagot niyan is 5 plus 129.9. So, we have 134.9 megapascal. Positive. Okay? So, this one is positive 134.9 megapascal. So, dito naman sa bottom. So, including center rin, ha? So, ito, we have positive 5, and then we have negative 129.9. So, bali dito is positive 5 minus 129.9.
So, kuntang ko lang ito na minus. So, this is negative 124.9 gigapasca. So, again, zero yan dito sa neutral axis. So, this one, the I is negative 124.9. Zero yan dito. So, sabihin, i-connect natin yan. So, ganito yung magiging itsura nun. Stress nga, no? Okay? So, we have intention. And then, dito is meron tayong compression. Okay, so yan na yung combined stress diagram natin. So ngayon, yung issue natin dito is at point A man. Di ba? So kung gusto natin kunin yung dito sa point A, kasi dito yung point A. Ayan na. So kunin lang natin yan. So, bali dyan. Dito kasi yung point A, no? Dito yung point A. Dito yung point A. So dito sa tensile stress, yung point A is positive 5 pa rin dito is positive 64.5 so bali pagdating natin dito sa sa A so F A so meron tayong positive 5 and positive 64.95 so 5 plus 64.95 so we have 69.95 69.95 mega pascal so ito di ay is 69.95 mega pascal okay so yan yung combined stresses so meron na tayong uh stresses sa top and bottom and also we have also uh, stresses at point A so ngayon kung i-include natin yung effect ng shear kasi may shear man talaga which is 86.6 so dito yan no? okay, so kapihin ko lang to ulit So, consider na natin ngayon yung uh, shear stresses. So, bali dito, meron tayong shear force, which is 86.6 kN. So, consider na natin yan. So, bali dito, meron tayong So, itong uh, tensile force at itong moment, uh, nakuha na natin yung combined effect niya. Na? Ito yan. Na? So, we have, sulat ko na lang dito. Ulit. So, this is zero. And then, dito is positive. 124.9 while dito is uh, negative 124.9 okay <coughs> So,
So, ngayon, uh, yun sa shear stress naman. So, for shear stress, ito yung, ito yung sa combined stress na. So, dito naman sa shear stress, yan. So, zero yan dito sa end to end, no? And then, medyo parabolic yung itsura nito. So, dito sa point A, pwede talaga siya parabolic. So, magko-curve yan, no? So, magko-curve yan. Then, maximum yan dyan sa neutral axis. So, maximum shear dito. Maximum horizontal shear. of course, at neutral axis. Horizontal shift. Ibali yung photon is horizontal. Okay, so, uh, yung, you know, horizontal shear is equivalent to VQ over IB. Okay? So, ngayon, yung concern natin dito is na pala yun dito sa F A is 69.95 so yung concern natin ngayon is masold natin ito no? yung horizontal shear stress dito sa point A ilan yan so sabali so ito yung segment natin I mean, ito yung section natin ito yung neutral axis ito yung gusto natin hanapin ano yung shear stress na mag-act dito no? yung shear stress na mag-act dito okay so we have this is point A no? point Okay. So, meaning, kung dito yung consider natin, so, yung consider natin na area is yun yan. Ha? Okay. So, yung Q natin, so, this is at point A. So, bali yung Q natin, para sa point A is, itong area na to, we have 50 by 50, na? Kasi yung dito, 50 rin to eh. So, 50 by 50. And then, yung centroid niya. No? Yung centroid nito. Yung dito, which is at 25. Diba? So, dito is 25. So, ito yan. No? Hanggang neutral axis. So, meaning, yung y na yan, Yung y na yan is, bali dito is, this is area times y, no? So, yung area is 50 times 50. Well, yung y is 50 plus 25. So, meron na tayong FBH or point A, which is yung shear natin dito. Uh, we know that is 86. So, that is 86.6 times 10 to the power of 3 para Newton. Yung Q natin is 50 by 50 by 50 plus 25 all over yung moment of uh, neutral axis. Moment of inertia at neutral axis. So, 50 times 200 cube all over 12. And then, yung B natin is yung cutting section. So, yung width, the, di ba dito yung ikakat natin? So, ito yung ikat natin. So, meaning, yan yung B. So, ito yung B sa formula, which is equal to 50. Amen. So, this is 50 mm. So, we have now horizontal shear stress. 
sagot niyan is 9.74 9.74 mega pascal so dito pala this is 9.74 mega pascal so if gusto mong kunin yung fbh maximum okay. so if you want to compute for the maximum Uh, horizontal shear stress so pala yung cutting mo kung ito yung section natin so kung gusto mo makuha yung maximum so cut mo yan sa neutral axis kung ito yung neutral axis natin ah, dito mo siya i-cut so cut mo yan And then, ito yung consider mo na area. So, bali yung Q mo dyan is you have 50 and then this one is 100, na? So, 50 times 100 multiplied by yung centroid nito. Patungo dito. That is half nung 100. So, meron ka na ang FBH max, which is yung shear again is 86.6 times 10 to the power of 3 uh, 50 times 100 times 100 divided by 2 and then you have 50 times 200 cube divided by 12 and then yung cutting width natin is ito 50 so we have now FPH max which is Papalitan ko lang to ng 100. Tsaka dito is 50. Okay, so yung sagot is 12.99 megapascal. Okay? So, for... For rectangular section, kung gusto mong kunin yung horizontal, maximum horizontal shear stress, that is equivalent lang sa 3 uh, halves nung sa vertical na shear stress. Meaning, this is 3 halves nung shear over area. So, kung sus kung isosold natin yan, this is 3 halves so yung shear is 86.6 times 10 to the power of 3 para newton so yung total area is 50 times, di ba alam natin this is 200 no? 200 so 50 times 200 so therefore we have 3 halves yung 86 over 50,000. Okay, so we have 12.99 megapascal. So yung sagot dito is 12.99 megapascal. So anyway, yung concern naman natin dito is yung sa point A. Diba? So makikita mo the same. So ngayon, kung gusto mong i- kunin yung mga maximum, no? stresses. So, considering na lahat ng forces included na yung shear. So, bali uh, combined effect. Nung uh, tensile stress, di ba? bending tsaka 
search this. Yeah, so kung gusto natin na ito yung sa combine. So kung gusto natin i-consider lahat. So, bali, meron na ka, uh, meron ka, um, more circle na. More circle. So, sa more circle, so, yan, yan. So, bali, dito is, ah, ipaplot lang natin. So, ito yung center na. Okay. So, ito yung center ng more circle natin. So, ngayon. So, we know the maximum tensile stress dito is considering point A na. At point A. So, sa point A, yung maximum tensile stress natin is point A lang kasi, no? So, tensa lang yung meron tayo, di ba? Dito sa point A, uh, sa tensa lang siya, no? So, we have 69.95. So, if i-divide natin to lang to, divided by 2, so, 69.95 divided by 2, so, we have 95 divided by 2, that is 34.975 mega pascal so tensa lang ito na kasi yung punti lang so bali <coughs> meron kang 34.95 so dito ko na lang ilagay yan so approximately andito yan ha and So, ito yung ito yung 34.975 34.975 So, yung shear stress ito yan ha ito yan ito yung shear stress at A so yung shear stress natin at A is itong 9.74 okay 9.74 mega pascal so this one is 9.74 so ganun din yung mangyayari dito sa kabilang side no? this is also 9.74 So, i-connect lang natin itong dalawang ito Ayan Okay So, yun na yun no? So, meaning Yung maximum tensile stress is So, yan ha. So, starting tayo dito. Hanggang dito. Ito yung maximum. Ah, tensile stress. So, maximum tensile stress. Considering lahat ng effect na, no? Combined siya ba shear stress. So, bali dito, this is uh, Kunin ko muna yung radius Para mas hold natin So, yung maximum shear stress naman Is ito yan no? Ito yan no? So, meaning Yung radius Okay So, yan yung radius The maximum Tensile stress So, that is square root lang na We have 34. 
and 75 squared plus 9.74 squared. Bali, yung kinoconsider natin dito is itong triangle na yan. Okay. So, bali, meron tayo square root of 34.975 squared plus 9.74 squared. So, that is 36 36.31 So this one is thirty six point three uh mega So bali dito ngayon is meron tayo thirty four point nine seven five plus yung radius so therefore we have 34.975 plus 36.3 34.975 plus 36.3 so this is 71.275 meter pascal ok so I think that's it no? so Nakuha na natin lahat ng mga stresses at ay sa maximum tensile stress, ito yun. And then sa maximum shear stress, which is the radius. Shear stress. So ito yun. Ito yung 36.3. And ito yung maximum tensile stress okay so uh, I think that's it now for combined stresses so see you in the next video thank you